Last week, your words were loaded with passion. You, you got everybody's attention because none of us had ever heard you in that frame of mind. You said, Santana, that as far as it relates to John Moxley, that he would learn what it's like to live in darkness. Can you tell us exactly what you meant by that? I'm gonna tell you a little story. A little over 10 years ago, I was at the deepest, darkest point in my life. I was broke, I had no job, no direction, living in a bullshit basement apartment in the Bronx. I felt like I was being buried alive. I felt like my walls were closing in. So I decided one night, I just couldn't take it anymore. I called my father at 3.30 in the morning. And of course he picked up just like I knew he would. I continue to explain exactly how I was feeling. I feel like every day that I wake up, it's dark. It's nighttime. He goes, Papa. That's my life every day. My father couldn't see. Hmm? You know what that feels like? Not at all. My father started going blind at 14 years old. 14 years old. Now imagine sitting in a hospital room at 14 years old and a doctor telling you, by the time you're 25, you're not gonna be able to see a damn thing. Process that. My father was stolen from me. No chance to say goodbye. No chance to say I love you. No chance to tell him exactly what he meant to me. That's my reality. That's what I live with every day. Quite frankly, your group, the inner circle, Jericho's group, what Moxley did last week seemed to be retaliatory. So is, there, is Jericho the guy that you should be pissed off at? John Moxley had every opportunity to have the entire wrestling world bow down to his feet. He had every chance to be a part of the real reason why this company is so successful. He decided to piss all that away. John built his own coffin. And tonight, I promise, he'll know what it's like to be in the dark.